Good morning everyone, it's Julie with Reflections Framing and Stitching. Today is Sunday, the 12th of May, and it is Mother's Day today. So I want to wish everyone a very happy Mother's Day. Even those of you who don't have children, I'm sure have at one time or another mothered somebody, whether it's a niece or a nephew or a neighbor or friend. So, happy Mother's Day to all. Um, just popping in quickly, I had a finish. So excited. Um, so I wanted to share that with you. And um, maybe just chat for a little bit. Uh, the kids are expected at some point today. Abby just called. I thought she'd be here already, she and the kids. Uh, but she called to say her morning was not going well. <laughs> Travis is out in the field planting. She had the kids on her own, trying to get everything pulled together to come into town. Um, so she hasn't even left home yet. So she'll be another couple hours. I don't think the rest of the kids are coming until later this afternoon. So I thought this might be a good time to sit out here and make a quick video and do some stitching. It is Mother's Day after all, and I, I've already done the cleaning. I got up early, and, and we did the cleaning. I showered. Yesterday, Dan got the uh, the deck, as you can see, the deck all cleaned up and, and uh, power washed because, man, was it dirty, and uh, the rug cleaned, and uh, we put some up in here. Uh, there was a gap between the roof and the structure and way too many bugs come in so I thought maybe pool noodles would help so he stuffed some pool noodles in there and that seems to be working so because last summer every time I came out here it was just full of bugs so this morning there, are, there was one or two but not you know, millions like, like there was. So, so I think that little plan is going to work well. And it's a, such a beautiful sunny day. It's maybe going to rain later. So I thought I would take advantage of it while I can and say hi. So hi, <laughs> I'm rambling. Uh, let me show you my finish. I don't, I didn't grab spur the minute again. This is, this is my life any, anymore. Uh, it's always last minute. Oh, hey, I have five minutes. Let's do this. So I didn't grab the, the picture again, but uh, I do have it finished. I have another video that I will post in a week or so um, where I'm showing this and it's not finished so you're gonna be a little out of sequence but it's a great video and I wasn't ready to post it yet because I haven't started any editing or adding in any uh, pictures so we're just gonna have to live with it being out of sequence anyway this is Mary Amelia's bird hello Ram How's my Rem Rem? Oh yes, her's a good girl. Her's a nice puppy. Such a good puppy. Yeah. That's mm. a good girl. Okay, can I show this? I can? No, I can't? I, you want more pets? <laughs> there, how's that? How's that? Daddy will come down soon. He's still in the shower. Yeah, he'll be coming soon. Okay, so here it is, Mary Amelia's bird. It's supposed to have writing down down here. I did not want the writing. So um, I just put, to pay it, uh, homage to Mary Amelia, who was seven years old when she st stitched this, I put her initials. I have the M over here and the C over here for her last name which was, I don't know, it was see something. <laughs> I don't remember at this point. But anyway, that's what I did. Um, I was hoping to put it into a round frame that I had. It was not, the frame was too large. 
so that's not going to work. So I'm going to have to go and see what else I can find. Otherwise, I'll have to put it in a round mat and frame it in a square frame, which would be fine too. Um, so that that's my finish. I'm really happy about it. I this was my challenge piece. Uh, where some of uh, my stitchers and friends and I are doing um, a challenge. It was a you choose my whip challenge. So. I think I've explained it before, but for anyone who might be new, it was you, you chose three of your whips and the rest of the group voted on which one you should work on. You had to work on it for at least an hour a week, which even I can handle. Uh, and I was down to, um, down to the end and I'm like, hmm, I think I just want to knock this out. So I spent uh, two nights and finished it up. So now I'm told I need to choose another whip. I'm like, but I finished the challenge. Do I really want to choose another whip? <laughs> I don't know that I do, but we'll see how that goes. Yeah, I may. I have to find I have to find another one that's closer to being done than some of my other ones. Because some of them, you know, just have that little 3x3 three three start up in the left-hand corner, and they're like 390 by 390 and, you know, mm, no. Some of them did that, though. So, and then I'm just going to show you my current progress on my peacock. And let's see. Again, for those who, of you who may not know, this is my peacock. And I would say I'm probably, oh please, that was child number two, well technically third in the birth order, <laughs> um, calling to ask what time the festivities were beginning and I'm like, I don't know. Dan informed me yesterday he'd invited them to come and that's all he told me. So other than that we're having stuffed hamburgers. So I don't know. So I have to tell Dan that he needs to call Alex and let her know what's going on. So anyway, where was I? I was showing you Peacock and Scrolling Roses. Um, I'm going to go ahead and take it out of the queue snap so that you can see it in all its beauty. So it is pretty. It's very pretty. Um... Let's see. Again, this will probably be out of sequence from the next video, but um, I did a video with Connie while she was here, and I have to add a bunch of short little videos to the end of the, uh, what do we call it? The brag table, the whip table, so you can see all the wonderful things that were worked on at retreat, because it is a sight to behold. Okay, so here's Peacock. You have to say it that way. Peacock. So there it is, and I'm working over here. I almost have this leaf done and this leaf done. And then I believe this, I have, I have more of the, I can start in on this and do that part. And then there's one more flower and leafy thing down here, and then, then it will be finished but it's still a ways away. But I am trying hard to focus on this. It would be really, really nice if it was ready f and framed by the fair, but I think it's going to be 2025's state fair and not 2024. I'm probably, if I get, if I get Mary Amelia done, you know, finished in some fashion, I'll probably have two for the fair. Probably just two for the fair. Um, so yeah, I haven't finished anything else. I Some pillows and stuff, but I'm not going to send any pillows this time. 
No, 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 no. Quiet. I have the water bottle out here. Because that seems to work best to keep the dogs quiet. Because <laughs> my telling them quiet doesn't usually work until I've squirted them. And then, then they get the clue like, oh, yeah, she's serious about this. Maybe we should not bark. All right, so that's back on the cue snap now. Um, what else did I want to visit with you about briefly? The heart and hand trunk show goes goes back this week. Um, it did not it did not go over well. So this is probably my last trunk show. Um, I'm going to go in, in the hole on this one. And that's not, not something I like to do. So I don't, I don't think I'm going to try it again. Um, but it's going bye-bye. I'll pack it up on Tuesday and get it shipped hopefully on Wednesday. And what else do I know? Had st stitching, second Saturday stitching yesterday. Had a pretty good group. It, it being Mother's Day weekend, I wasn't really expecting a large group. Um, but it was, it was decent sized. It was a, it, and it was, it was a good group of women. So that was nice. And I did, I tried framing again. I have I have, oh look, it's Dan. Dan, you're supposed to call Alex and let her know what time you're planning to have dinner. Okay. Because something about she needs to know, she needs to know when to start making what her contribution to the meal. Okay, are you zooming? No, I'm not zooming. I'm making a uh, floss tube. Are you recording? Yes. Oh. Hello. <laughs> Hello, Stitchettes. Good, eh? You could sit over here so they could see you. Well, I didn't know I was going live. Well, it's not really live. You're just being recorded. Dude, the noodles are popping out. Popping back in. And there's a gap there. I tried to pop that one and it won't, it, it pops right back out. You have to kind of twist them as you push it. Well, you can twist it, and I think we need one more noodle to fill in a couple of small ah. gaps. Ah. What? I'm twisting shouty. Is that what that was called? Let's see that gap there. Yeah, I need one more canoodle. One more to fill in some small, but I, it, it seems to be working. <laughs> Sorry, I kind of forgot. Um, so, that's, that's, I don't know what we were talking about before Dan came out. Did you hear anything as you were coming out? Or did you think I was just sitting here talking to myself? I thought you might have been on the phone to Melanie. Nope, wasn't talking to Melanie. Abby called. She's running late. So, look, guys. There's Dano. Hi. And Raggy. And it took. Raggy has recovered from her eye surgery, but I think she's having little seizures now. So I had to talk to the vet on Monday. He's been out of town. Um. Do you want to give an update on where you're at in the butler's pantry? Um, well, I put a list together. I shouldn't have done that. <laughs> it kept going, 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 going. I have about 14 items left to do, varying from maybe an hour, an hour and a half to several days. So I have a phase one list that had like seven items on it. I've already checked off a few of those. Uh, latest was working on the 
redesigned brick area has already had ship flap up but somebody decided they didn't like that there was a reason there was a reason so it was we just uh, a willy-nilly thing we took that down and put them um, you probably told them what we did right? I haven't I haven't said anything oh. so, I've been very vague so there's brick on the east wall above the island man so she wanted matching brick on the tower side of the cabinets with a four foot opening in the middle that was going to be glass front shelving but we decided to go with floating shelves so she could display her knicky knack things knicky knack knicky knack my antique goodies yep which you will see in the video with Connie but not on the shelves hmm? not, not on, on the, the shelves, shelves no so anyway, I got the I got the brick done. That was a pain in the butt because there's a counter there already, so I had to kind of lean over like this. And uh, and he's old and decrepit. Okay. My back was <laughs> killing me. My arms were killing me. My large pectoral muscles here <laughs> around my shoulders. Actually, they're not very large. They were pretty much not existent, but they shouldn't hurt like hell. Uh, we got that done and. I put some decorative cord around on that side of the room too that will extend all the way around. Not cord around. Crown well, it's, molding. It's kind of, yeah, that's the yeah. decorative molding up there. Yeah, crown molding is a pain in the butt to put in because it's multi degree angle cuts to get it to fit. So I, I found some pretty nice stuff, but it's expensive. But it has to be pretty precise. And although my table saw is a newer table saw and, and done a good job on this project, it's just not as heavy duty and accurate as the ones that work that the carpenters have. So I was doing some of the cuts there, bring it home, measure it, take it back, cut it. And I got kind of tired of doing that. So I did get it done. Looks good. So, oh, bless you. So that's done countertop is sitting in there the drawers are done I have to work on the food pull-out area on the large cabinet so that's my next job in this phase one of completion and that's a several week project because there's three or four four or five drawers that need to be built and glides that need to be put in and let's see we're going we, we picked out the pen we picked out the pendant lights, so I'm going to buy another pendant light and put those in. Not necessarily the ones that I wanted, but the ones that I wanted were from Wayfair and they've been out of stock for months and months and I'm on, I'm on the please notify me list, but you know, at some point you just have to get it done, so. Yeah, so these are okay, they're, they're 50 right. bucks. So if we want to change them out at some point, we could. But I got to pick up the second one, which they're probably out of stock and no longer make anymore. That's the way. That's it's the way it's been going for us. We'll that was that. a problem with that brick. Oh yeah. yeah. Yeah, that was a big problem because we chose that brick. What last fall? Well, I don't know. If it was I think last it was fall. last fall. And now that it now it doesn't have and it had multiple colors in it and now it's pretty much all red isn't it no the uh, there is a box of red but then there's the box of tan and brownish and lighter but um, yeah that that one there's not as big a variety in there and we had found a open box must have been an older or a return that I got for a really good deal and it had some really white creamy colored brick in it that we liked trying to find some of those wasn't going to happen but I went to a couple brick distributors and was looking at their samples and of course the one that I wanted would have been $85 a box which is the only way to buy it and they were back ordered. 
Of course. So I said, I have a stupid question. She goes, there's no stupid questions. I said, well, I said, since you can't get these anymore, they're really back ordered, could I buy or have your display bottle? Because there was, I think there was five on there that I could use. And I said, well, I'll find five somewhere else. But she went in the back, surprisingly, and came out with two samples. I said, that's awesome. Can I can I buy them? She goes, no, you can just have them. Just remember us when you're picking brick next time. Right. <laughs> so, for that's no nice. cost to that, yeah, I had to, I had to chisel them off of the sample without breaking them. But yeah, it worked. We had we had enough to, barely enough to fill it in, and it looks like the other side. Mm-hmm. It looks good. Looks very good. So that's where we're at. Then that's the phase one. Phase two completion is another dozen. Ten items that need to be done. We can talk about as we get closer. Mm -hmm. His his phase one and and my phase one are not necessarily the same. He was and and I I, I requested strongly <laughs> that. His phase one includes the drawers of the pantry, so that I did include phase one. You were going to do lights and also in phase one painting and stuff before phase the drawers. one A, phase one B, <laughs> phase one C. Uh huh. Well, I want I want the first thing to be the drawers in the pantry, so maybe we could get the pantry out of the library. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's going to be wonderful when it's done. Lots of storage. I can't wait. I think I've been pretty good at being patient, though. It's only been a year. <laughs> oh, it's been over a year. No. You started it while I was at market a year ago. I started taking stuff out that of the kitchen. That was in March. I started taking stuff out of the kitchen. I didn't start That was in pantry. March. We have been living with construction since March. Of last year. Oh, that was nice. He just dribbled. <laughs> he can't have anything nice. Um, so it's been over a year that we've been living with construction. And I think I've been rather patient. Oh, you just love a belly rub so much, don't you? Don't you? Yeah. This was my, did you tell them this was my project from yesterday? I did tell them this, this was Mother's the project. Day present. The getting the deck all clean and shiny and noodles up there to prevent the bugs. And it's there were far fewer bugs in here this morning when I came in. There's a spider. I killed him. And there was a, I don't know, a flying thing. But otherwise, whereas last year I'd come in and it would be full of wasps. I did see a wasp trying to get in. What? The snow went outside today. Yeah. So, but I think the noodles are going to work as long as, you know, the big wind doesn't come up again. It has been so windy this spring. And we can Terrible. say that because we have lived in heavy wind. <laughs> We've before, lived in Wyoming. Before the last couple of years, people in Nebraska would say it's windy, and I'd just say, no. You guys have no idea what day-to-day -day wind is. But lately... It's been bad. I mean, we, I was a teacher and coached all year. Finally, I get a season off, track season, which is about now or a little bit earlier. But I always got stuck helping run the track meets. We had one track meet where they were running a 440 all the way around the track. They hit the northwest corner. The wind was blowing so hard that they canceled the event because the runners could not move any farther from that corner. That's how windy it gets in Wyoming. It's bad. Yeah. But it's getting that bad here, too. Pretty awful. We used to drive from Glen Rock to Shoshone, which was 120 miles of nothing. Straight road. The wind was blowing so hard, this is this is not a makeup story, this is a real story. 
we were driving the bus and we had to put the one back tire in actually like this the one back tire in the shoulder on the shoulder just to prevent the bus from basically flipping around yes we, we had to do that that's pretty bad pretty bad driving buses sucked in Wyoming it paid nothing because you were just the coach so you had to we had to drive we didn't have drivers snowstorms windstorms hailstorms locusts rattlesnakes I don't think you had locusts <laughs> You're getting carried away with your storytelling now. Hello, are you done? Are you getting hot? What else would we like to chat about? Oh, I've been chatting. You can go back and talk to me. I don't know that I have a whole lot to, to talk about. I've talked about the trunk show is going away this week. How I don't think I'll have another one. Um, I talked about stitching yesterday. Well, they want, they like hearing from you. You're, you're, more, you're funnier than I am. That's because years ago when I started out as a comedian. <laughs> Stand up thing. Stand up comedian, uh huh. Yep. Well, it's hard to make a living being a bull rider back, back then, so I had to supplement my income. <laughs> during, during, the, during the afternoons and the weekends when the PBR, PBR was, during the day it was bounty hunting. It was pretty lucrative in Wyoming. Mm -hmm. Sure. Sure. So, well, I don't know if I know anything else. I'm going to pause it for a minute because I might might think of something. But i got to talk to Dan, so. Oh, please. I'm back. Dan has left. He has to run to the grocery store because he forgot a few things for the stuffed burgers. Um, and people are starting to mow their lawns, so I am going to stick a fork in this call it done and maybe get it uploaded yet today um, so I hope you all have a wonderful Sunday and I will see you in the next video you take care until then bye